Good morning, everyone. P. Moody. So I'm just going to bring you guys this very, very, very quickly. Um, the word or the message, whatever you want to call it, is change. You're going in different directions. God said to come from up amongst them. We're going to go to uh, 2 Corinthians 6, 15 through 17. Again, that is 2 Corinthians it's 6, 15 through 17. So that's chapter 6, and then it's 15 through 17. And I'm just going to read it quickly. And it reads, What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers and separate yourselves from them, says the Lord. Don't touch their filthy things and I will welcome you. That is a mouthful. And that was 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and it was verses uh, 15 through 17. So there you have it. That is what thus saith the Lord. We are to come from up, um, up among them, like come from up under them. We're not to have any dealings with them. He said, don't even touch their stuff. The reason why there's such change, and you might think people who before you were so cool with or family members or whoever they may be, and you're like, well, what's the change now? The change is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that God is moving in a different direction and he wants you to go with the flow of where he is going and where he is taking you. And unfortunately, that means that that person or those people, they can't come for whatever reason that he knows you want them to come. And it's not necessarily that they're bad people or they've done something so detrimental. Um, it may just be that he knows what path they're going to take and it's not the same one as yours and he doesn't want anyone to cause you to stumble in your walk. He needs you to do what he has for you to do on this earth and those people might serve as a, dis a distraction so he has to get them out of the way. He has to separate you guys or you from that person, whatever it may be. I've discovered that myself because um, I recently had encountered something uh in that situation and i'm like well lord this person was always you know like this they were upstanding we we you know we gelled and this and that and i'm like so now you know this conversation that we're having it is awkward and it feels different and the spirit of the person feels different why why is that i couldn't understand and then that's when he gave me the revelation is because we're going in different directions and he wants me to come from among up among them. Like he does not want me nor my husband to be around uh, what what the uh, person that I'm referring to. And it's unfortunate. And um, even though that person uh, has what well, I would think a good heart, but a lot of the conversation, the tone of it, it seemed to be a lot different from what I was used to having with that person that I was just like, hmm. and I am a discerner of spirits. So I detected a different spirit and I was like, I can't, Ugh, this stinks, this stinks because I want to be around this person so bad, but this conversation is showing me where they are um, in their life and I can't be a part of that. And I can't subject my husband. My husband, he he felt the same thing because he has that uh, gift that the Holy Spirit has given to him. <laughs> And um, it was just like, that's a no, <laughs> sorry, that's a no. I love that person to life, but it's a no, um, unfortunately. But I pray for that person. I'm praying for their walk and for them to uh, experience the Holy Spirit and God in his true form, uh, not the way it was portrayed to him by pastors that, that gave him false doctrine and things of that nature. But I pray for that person and and the other individual in that person's life, but it's a no, but it's because he's moving you all because 
he needs uh, you to do what he has called you to do and people will serve a distraction or they may lead you astray and he does not want that. So they have to, they unfortunately have to go. But that is the word that there's a change in a direction. Get from up under them amongst, um, up amongst, excuse my tongue tied today. Get from up under them because um, he doesn't want you there. As much as you may try to force it or you want it to be, but it is not his will. Just do what he says to do. Follow the Holy Spirit. Test every spirit. Again, as I always say, including mine, because if we are to call ourselves believers, then we should have no issue with somebody testing our spirit if it is truly from the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior and God, the Father and the Holy Spirit. God bless you all. P. Moody. Have a great day.